the scorching summer of July 1402, a chilling wind swept through the Ming Dynasty capital of Nanjing. Prince Zhu Di sparked a rebellion, accusing Emperor Jian Wen of being manipulated by his ministers, aiming to usurp the throne. But those who knew Zhu Di, those who could see past the smoke of his words, knew the prince's true intention. He sought the throne for himself. For three long years, Zhu Di carefully nurtured his rebellion, gathering allies. Expertly spinning words, he turned suspicion into certainty. By 1402, he had a formidable force. The prince's rebellion climaxed, Nanjing fell, and Emperor Jian Wen vanished. The throne, now vacant, was seized by Zhu Di. The prince, once an outsider looking in, now sat at the helm of the empire. His rebellion, under the guise of a noble cause, had been a success. The invasion of Nanjing, a pivotal moment in the history of the Ming Dynasty, marked the beginning of Zhu Di's reign as the Yongle Emperor. Zhu Di's rule was born from a betrayal that deeply impacted the empire. His rebellion, driven by ambition, illustrates the destructive power of betrayal and the frailty of trust. The echoes of Zhu Di's rebellion still reverberate through the halls of time, a haunting reminder of the events that unfolded in that fateful summer of 1402. Don't forget to like and subscribe.